we bring you a couple of pieces of news straight from Disneyland Paris this week who seem to be on an absolute roll in sticking out press releases to the Inside Ears uh, sociable group just now. And uh, I'm just going to kick off and go into some of the content. We'll try and cover it as quick as we can so that you're not listening to this forever. Um, the first piece of news is that Crush's Coaster the Game, which is an, a, a game that was released in 2014 um, in the Q zone of Crush's Coaster in the Walt Disney Studios, has been updated. So um, it's taken four years to get an update, but it has been updated. And the idea is effectively the queue is deadly boring for Crush's Coaster and there's often very, very long. It's one of the longest waits in Disneyland Paris. It's up there with Ratatouille and it's up there with Big Thunder Mountain. It is absolutely one of the longest. So, what they've done is they've redesigned it and they've created two modes. So there's an easy mode and a normal mode. They don't call it hard mode, but it's easy and normal mode. You can play with the touch screen or you can use the gyroscope off the mobile phone if your phone has one, making it a little bit easier. They have included the vibration engine and it's possible to collect lives during the game, which will make you invincible for a few seconds. They have created 3D animations. The levels are now much longer to reach and the game is compatible with retina screens for the first time, so it doesn't look fuzzy. Um, the game is an interactive mobile game for smartphone tablet available in French and English. I don't know many people are bringing out their iPads, but you can. Um, you do not need to download the game. Instead, you, down you play it straight from your web browser. So it's quite a fancy wee game for your web browser. And it's available effectively from now. Um, and it's available on the entire park in Walt Disney Studios. It's, it's actually available outside Walt Disney Studios too. Um, but you will find the information to connect it in the Crushes Coaster um, queue line and it has free Wi-Fi. So if you're traveling abroad, you don't have to use your own data. So it's a completely free game. There's no reason not to have it. If you want to play it, you can absolutely play it. Um, play it. And for some reason, they have decided to make it update it and make it available now. It's always been available, and if you want to play it, you should give it a try. The second thing that Walt Disney Company globally is doing just now is the Share Your Ears campaign, which is benefiting the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, so they've granted 130,000 wishes during a 40-year partnership, and this year they, up to $2 million, want to do a Mickey Mouse Ears or a Share Your Ears campaign. So this kind of closely links to Mickey's 90th birthday in a way, I suppose. So what they want you to do is, if you are in a park or you're not in a park or if you're at home or whatever wear your ears you can make your own creative ears if you don't have a set you can wear any that you've bought you can have you can you can do basically anything um, and then all you have to do is post your your picture with share your ears the hashtag share your ears and if you post that what they're going to do is they're going to go around harvest all them and for every single person that does it you're going to donate five dollars up to a grand total of two million dollars so it's, it's totally worth you doing it there's no reason you shouldn't do it and they're going to share some of those pictures in some of their um, parks and they're going to put some of them on the Disney Cruise Line. They may also steal your ideas for creative fears, so it's a, it's a really good idea and there, there's no reason you shouldn't take part. Um, if you are in Disneyland Paris just now, you can go and you can see um, the dedicated fences put up to kind of push it forward. And there's one near the Art of Animation and one next to, and that's in the Walt Disney Studios and then there's one next to Topia in Disneyland Paris and they are going to post all the creative photos on the fan wall which i presume is some sort of fan wall online so if you're in a ear in fact it doesn't matter if you're in ears or not you really should be taking a picture and putting them up and sharing your ears there's no reason we shouldn't do this this is a really good thing this is a re i mean they are absolutely doing it for the free social media and that is a thing but they're also giving five dollars for everyone so i think we can all agree that for the little bit of social media propaganda that's going out there we can certainly give up that five dollars it's an amazing amazing cause the make foundation is a fantastic foundation and you should go online and google it if you haven't heard anything about it disney are a huge partner there's because a lot of people want to do that trip as part of the make a wish foundation um we're going to move swiftly on and this time it's a lot um, closer to home at disneyland paris and it is about the annual pass holders so obviously one of the things that i'm sure disneyland paris have noticed is there's a lot a lot of annual passport groups and those groups often share good advice and a lot of people ask a lot of questions and I think Disneyland Paris just want to communicate a little bit better because one of the biggest things people say about being a pass holder, an annual pass holder at Disneyland Paris, is they have no idea what's going on. They have absolutely no idea of the events and what's going on. And some of them don't get the emails and sometimes the email comes to you in the wrong language. It's quite a common thing for your email to be in the wrong language. And I think for a lot of annual pass holders, they just seem to have the wrong email and file. If that's the case, you can actually phone the annual passport office and you can phone the dedicated line that's on the back of your... Um, it's not on the back, it's actually in the little leaflet that comes with your annual pass, I was just thinking about that there. Or you can go to any annual pass window or the annual pass office in Disneyland Park and you can update your email. But if not, you can join the free group. 
The group is open to absolutely anybody, so if you've not bought an annual pass, you can absolutely join the group and learn about an annual pass in case you want to buy it. And the group is, the Facebook group is called Disneyland Paris Annual Pass Holders. Imaginative. However, there's a French one and an English one so far, and there's probably going to be many more created. Um, of course, this year, 2017-2018, is the first time that Disneyland Paris sort of fully appreciated there were going to be English annual pass holders. We've always been able to get them, there's never been a problem with that. You've always been able to direct debit it as well, as long as you've got an IBAN number. However, it's the first time they've created an English-only annual pass group officially. So go on and check that. There's daily content, Monday to Friday, which is a fantastic thing, and it seems to be cool wee videos they've got just now. We've had some exclusive content on Mickey's um, 90th dance, so jump on there. I'm not sure you have to learn the dance, but you can certainly go on and do that. Um, on to our next piece of news, um, the, there's a, a competition going on in Disneyland Paris just now, and unfortunately it's begun as I came back, or otherwise I've been playing. So they have um, partnered with Pandora and in the Hollywood Joe bo Box Boutique at Old and Shoes Park and in Pandora Shops in mainland France, there are new and iconic Mickey 90 charms hidden waiting to be won. To find them, you have to launch the Pandora Augmented Reality app developed only for this purpose. It's available on the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. And once it's launched, you go around and scan things and you get put into a, a fun thing and eventually, if you can discover the charm, you win it. So this is something that, that um, takes place until November 18th. You don't have long to do it, but certainly if you want to do it, run into your nearest French Pandora or run into the uh, Hollywood Joe box in Hollywood Studios, and uh, uh, not Hollywood Studios, in Disney, Walt Disney Studios, and you can um, certainly play along. Uh, the, or you can download the app, unfortunately. It's up to you. It's up to you. <laughs> um, and then finally, the last piece of information I'm going to give you today, and I'll probably cover a bit later once we get some more details in a fuller episode, is the fact that in the Walt Disney Studios Park, and I, I get this, a lot of today's podcast is an awful lot about the Walt Disney Studios Park, but there is going to be a Christmas show. This replaces Cinemagique's return, um, which a lot of people are disappointed about. I personally am not very disappointed because I think the show had seen its best days and it was no longer its best days. So it's been replaced by a Christmas 20-minute um, show and it will go on to the 6th of January. It's going to be in Studio Theatre and apparently this will be to allow all guests to be ever more immersed in the spirit of Christmas. I am totally unsure what it's going to be, however it says there are going to be some classic characters for 20 minutes and they're certainly going to sing. So, um, take what you want from that Christmas, sing along and classic characters and on the walk to the studios until January 6th. Um, it came out of nowhere and everybody was a little bit surprised by it, but that is our roundup. So you have a Christmas show in Walt Disney Studios, you have until the November the 18th to play along with Pandora and try and win a free charm. You have to hashtag share your ears by the Walt Disney and um, Make-A-Wish Foundation joining up. Make sure you do that and then you can play the Crushes Coaster game on your phone. That's a roundup. Goodbye.